Hey, what's up, everybody? So I'm going to try to explain, verbalize, Mac key transitions, how to use them, um, how to get them. I'm going to give you a bin that you can download a lot of uh, Mac key transitions that I had over the years. I don't even remember where I got them. You can get a lot of free ones over the Internet. You can also buy them. You can steal them. You can make them yourself. But let's talk about what a Mac transition really is and how a Mac key affects it and how to use that in Avid. So here we go. So we have two clips right here on top of each other and I have a clip on V1, I have a clip on V2, and I have a clip on V3, which is just a white to black movement, right? The arrows moving left to right. And when you apply key, mat key, if you put a mat key on that clip, it will use that arrow as a transition, as an alpha channel, as a see-through video, however you want to call it. It's basically saying, let's go here. It's saying, use the clip on V2 as white, V1 as black, and move accordingly. Okay? That's really what a Mac key does. That makes sense? White, white, black, black. And when it moves, it's going to move with it. The key thing is you need to have these clips on V1, V2, V3. That's the way the Mac key works. Now, obviously, this arrow transition is pretty weak, but the way a lot of great transitions work and the, the transitions that I'm going to give you will not have that, but the way great transitions work. Now, I have an arrow, blue arrow or graphic made here, and look at that transition that is a transition right there and the way this was made was made in after effects with an alpha channel and then we made a full clip not with an alpha channel a full uh, white to black clip right there, there is no alpha channel on this clip this is a full white to black clip and now when you bring that into avid you apply the alpha uh, matte key to it and put an alpha channel on top there you go, right? So let's talk about the bin I gave you and how that works. I have a bin here of all these matte transitions, which in the sense is any white to black image, right? So here we go. So now when you cut anything to V1, put anything, put this on V3 and put anything on V1 and V2 under it, you're going to get transitions, matte key transitions. So here is a sequence that I gave you. So I have this clip on V1, I have this clip on V2, there's a cut here, right? Say I want something more interesting, I want some sort of matte key transition, matte transition. Um, no, let's get a good one here. Our slithering snake, it's called. So one thing to think about is it's got to go from white to black. So all this, in a sense, this was 16 frames. It's basically pad. It's, nothing's going to happen until the first frame of black starts coming in. So I'm going to mark my in there, and I'm going to mark it in and out, and I'm going to cut that in there. And now I'm going to go key, matte key. And here's what happens. We have the video on V1, and when the Mac key starts to go, it is transitioning to V2 using that white and black information, right? So you're going to say to yourself, wow, especially all these, these uh, Mac transitions I gave you, from video to video, it's pretty weak. There's not enough separation there. There's not enough, uh, you know... I don't know. It's not, a, it's not a great transition. So one thing that I like to do with a title of white, and it becomes a very awesome white flash. So to make the, the white title, I would just click new title. I would go to this background and click white. And now I have a, a title of white. I will save the title as white. And now if I do that here and I bring that in here, um, you're going to see... Let me extend this out. I'll show you why in a second. So you're going to see this as a transition, right? Imagine you went from white to that. That is like a really cool white flash. So this sequence that I gave you, if you batch import all the footage that I also gave you in a folder on a zip drive, and you make a white title or recreate the titles that are in here, 
and cut them in, you can now quickly see all the different Mac key transitions that I gave you. I got these free from the internet a while ago, a couple of years ago. A lot of them, I agree, they're not that great, but um, they're definitely better than just a white flash with a dissolve to a certain degree if you want to make something a big, bigger moment. I have a cut, I have a cut right here, but I want to make a big transition. So this is a matte transition with a graphic that was made at a uh, post graphic house for the show. So if I match into this layer, this is on V3, and you see this white to black clip right here. And the way the graphic house did it was where I talked about earlier. They made this cool graphic with an alpha channel, and then they sent the same um, graphic out as a white black image. So now if I take these two layers and bring them into a sequence and put them, make sure the V3 is on V3 and the other one can be on whatever track you want it to. And now I have what's happening here is the transitions going to work. But what do I need? I need to have the clip on V1 to extend to the end of the Mac key. Whoops. And I need this clip on V2 to extend in to where the Mac key starts, right? So now I'm going to render that, put it up there. And now I have, instead of just a cut, I have that transition. Imagine that with a sound effect, right? Now it came in too early. So what am I going to do? I'm going to just going to move those two things down. And the same thing, I have to have this V2 start where the Mac key starts and have this V1 end where the Mac key ends. Very important. If you don't do that, you're going to have sort of a cut in the transition, which you do not want to have. Okay, so with the sound effect, that's really a nice transition. Pretty cool. And it's all because of this Mac key. It's all because of taking this white and black clip and putting the Mac key on it between two videos. All right, so let's talk again about the bin I gave you. Two things to think about are that, again, the, the transition's not going to start until it starts fading to black. If you start it here, nothing's going to happen for the first 12 frames. So that's one thing to think about. The other thing to think about is you can uh, speed these up, slow them down, right? The initial clip, well, match into that, the initial clip was a, a second 25 and if I want to speed that up you know say 200 percent any of these clips you can do that you speed it up and you can put the Mac key on it and now you have a much faster transition right Matt transition I keep I interchange the word Matt transition and Matt key what can I tell you I, I drink a lot I don't know what to say um the only other thing I wanted to say, which I completely forgot because I thought of the word, I've thought of beer and it completely lost my train of thought, is. Oh, okay, inverting the key. So think about the, all these Mac keys I gave you, and most of them I try to do, I try to go white to black. But imagine, and we did have one here that kind of went from black to white. So how is that going to happen here if I cut that on here? So if I put a Mac key on it, it's going to go, it's going to see, it's going to see, right? It's, it's going to be reverse. So the way to do that is to uh, go into effect mode. And you want to invert the key. So now in a sense, it's, it's putting V1 as the black and V2 as the white. I don't, I don't even get into that in my head in a sense. I, I just think to myself, oh, it's not working the way I want to. It's, it's cutting on the wrong layers. I just invert the key but that is why it's this like this clip is really started from black and went to white you could make a clip where you reverse the speed minus 100 if you really really wanted to and then it would go from here to here but actually that would be a different transition it wouldn't move from up to back like that so that is Mac keys explained kind of hard to do this was really hard for me but please take a download the bin in the description it gives you this sequence and with reference to all these different matte transitions you can use when you get them make sure you you know I gave you the clips on a separate folder and you can batch import all these clips recreate the title or make a new title and just cut it in there yourself here is the Mac key but you can also find it uh, key 
Matt Key, and go on, go on the internet. If you Google free mat transitions, you will find a lot of them. All right, so I really hope that's helpful. I hope you got something out of this. If you want to learn more about Avid, go to avidbeer.com, and I'll see you in the next video.